What is going on, everybody? It's I, the Mad Crown, here on Mad Me with a two-part episode review of Assassination Classroom. The reason why I did not do the last video on Assassination Classroom is for a very specific reason. The reason why it's late, I had a lot of shit to do. I'm like, seriously, a lot to do. It was a really busy week, and I couldn't barely get anything done. Heck, I was glad to even get the Tokyo Ghoul review to be done this week as well, but that got out, and I'm that's off my chest. But the reason why I'm doing this episode as a two-parter is for one good reason you probably don't even know. Did you know Assassination Classroom episodes 7 and 8 are actually the first video to be ever made in Assassination Classroom? That's right. A couple of months ago is how I even found out about Assassination Classroom anime is a couple of months ago they made an OVA for it. This was a promo video that was about on um, what? 40, 40, 30 or something minutes long, and it, um, broadcast this episode right here. It really did. And the episode was about the Kyoto trip. The group, you get to learn more about the other students and try other assassination tips to get Koro Sensei, but, you know, they failed. Because there's no point in killing them right now. So, if they're going to kill him, it's going to be probably at the very end of the series. So, we don't know what's going to happen until then. However, yes, like I said, if you actually want to see the original video to episode 7 and 8 that they did a month back, the link is in the description below. And you can tell me what you think about it. Tell me how comparison was different and what is the same between the two videos of episode 7 and 8 and this one OVA. This one OVA, it brings everything together in this Kyoto trip. They needed to find a part of the video within the chapter that didn't spoil anything to the cast that was going to watch it. So they said, hey, let's just do the um, Kyoto trip because, you know, nothing really all that spectacular happens. And that's exactly what they decided to do here. So anyway, the trip starts off with some students getting kidnapped by some thugs. Koro Sensei comes in and rescues them. That's the whole entire episode 7 was about. Episode 8 was more about the students and Red Eye Sniper. This guy wearing red glasses trying to snipe Koro Sensei, the students helping in, but failed. Other than that, it was also about them doing things you usually see in anime. Pretty much, it kind of got to the stereotypical thing where, you know, how you'll see them just doing this as Kyoto trip. They're all inside the same room. And the other thing that also questions me is why is it always Kyoto? In every anime you watch, it's like every school and middle school, they have to go to Kyoto. Like, it can't be any other place. Like, come on, I hope you like... Can we go somewhere else, man? Because everyone went to Kyoto. It's not that exciting when you think about it. Because what if you've already been to Kyoto and stuff like that without your school? But hey, that's just me. Anyway, at the end of this video, it was Kurosensei had this funny moment. They were trying to assassinate him all tons of times. Kurosensei's buddy in, meddling around with everyone's situations. And they're always trying to kill him because he's pissing everybody off. There's not much that really happened because episode 8 was not that boom boom like um, episode 7 was where we got to actually know one of the characters knowing that she was actually a, from a very high up family but she didn't meet the standards. She didn't like being all preppy and stuff. She liked to go around downtown and have a little fun and stuff like that. She didn't want to do all that. So it explains how she was kidnapped because when the guys recognized her, so Coral Sensei came in and helped them out. And the next episode was just boring, it was just them talking, and it was about the sniper, and it was just one of all that. So the episodes together, I would say it's 7.5 out of 10. Like I said, it wasn't really all that interesting to watch, really, the second half of this review. The first half was really good because you understand about something about a new character within the cast. The other one, no, not so much. It's just them trying to kill Coral Sensei and them talking about Coral Sensei. Can't remember what the next episode is going to be about, though, but I bet it's going to be better than the last. Well, anyway, for more assassination attempts, more assassination reviews, leave it here. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you could. I'll be much obliged. Macro Mame, sign out.